Hey everybody, welcome back to Save Station. So today I have Nate with me. Hello. And we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch like everyone else is doing, but specifically we want to talk about storage today. So we were kind of debating back and forth on, you know, like storage is really important and can oftentimes, you know, hinder a system if it isn't, if it isn't there, like the Wii U. Right. Uh, that's the classic... Wii U, like, horror stories coming with, like, 8 gigs or 32 gigabytes just in, like, its flash memory, which was, like, really, really bad. That's right. yeah. <laughs> so, like, I had to get an external hard drive for it, which, at the time, I didn't really mind doing, but I think I got a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and it ended up being, you know, over $100, or around $100. Yeah. So, like, when we're buying a system at least Nintendo system back in the Wii U, you almost had to include that cost on top of what you were right. buying the system for, yeah. right? Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, I bought the Wii U brand, uh, yeah, when it was still, like, in its brand new price. Right. And it was, like, 350 So, technically, I spent about, like, 450 for the system. Because I had to, you had to get an external drive. But, like, you didn't. I still haven't got one, but I don't play nearly as many games right. on, my, on my Wii. And I also, you know, I could have probably lasted... A little bit longer than I did, but I, I there were some games I just bought digitally, right? Yeah, I mean that's the real reason. You need and that's the big issue that I'm kind of foreseeing for the Switch, is Nintendo still hasn't detailed any storage options for what they're gonna do. Right. And we were kind of like looking up maybe some options that they could use. So like SD cards are definitely an option. Solid state drives. You were bringing up the solid state drives. So like just give a quick rundown of like what's the nice thing about solid state drives they're small they don't you don't have to worry about them being like uh, scratched like when a normal hard drive has a disc in it right so there's no disc written. so there's no disc no disc okay um it's fast way faster than a spinner okay and they're not that expensive anymore so like for i know on your computer you have one specifically for your os My right so like it boots like drives, really quick really right fast, yeah so that's definitely a really nice thing to have now those have always been more expensive though right like yeah. than a regular hard drive yes yeah, because yeah. it's kind of like leading edge technology in that mm -hmm. kind of like space so the price of course has always been higher but you would probably say that you know it's been they've been around for a little while now the price is starting to come down Long enough that they're dropping in price yeah yeah so you know that could definitely be an option Right now, we're looking at solid state drives ranging from around like 120 to 190 and that's, price. And that's for 500 gig. And that, you don't need more than that. And yeah, then that's for a 500 gig uh, solid state drive. And I think for the Switch, that is definitely acceptable. I think 500 gigs is enough. But we are, if you want to be like an all digital gamer, it is still kind of tough. Because I'm, I'm sitting with an Xbox One with 500 gigs, and I buy physically. And all, all right. these games have to install. Let me ask right? you a serious question, though, real quick. Okay. How many games that are installed on your Xbox yeah. that you do not play anymore do you still have on there? So, I mean, yeah, that's a good question, right? Like, I, There's you know, I probably... You could delete and like, right. clear up so much space. When I, when I need to... I don't think there's an option to replace your Xbox One hard drive, like no. get in there and get it out. No, no, so no. I would almost have to buy like the Slim if I wanted to, you well, know, you get it up there, right? Hard drive into your Xbox. Right, because it has its USB. It so I could USB. I could add to it with an external if I wanted to, yeah. but I definitely don't want to buy another external no, hard drive. No, 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 no. But you are right. Like I could go ahead and get in there and delete stuff that I'm not playing, like Master Chief Collection. I haven't touched that in a long, long time. time. So, like, with the, with the new Switch, like, I think it should have at least 250 gigs, if not 500, built in. Okay. And I think that'll be more than enough for anybody. So, there's no yeah. reason you need 500 gigs worth of games at any given time. Sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's true. Some people do like to collect the library, though. Yeah, but like, you can delete games you don't play often and reinstall. Like, my Steam, right, that's my true, Steam account true. has a lot of games that I don't play anymore that I can always just reinstall true. if I feel like it. It's true. I do, I mean, that is totally an option, and I don't have a problem doing that. I know some people don't like doing that. They like having all their stuff ready to go if they ever get that, like, urge to play a game. 
So yeah, then they don't no. have to worry about like downloading it. So some people's internet suck. Yeah, no, I completely right? understand that, and I think the but like the group that people that want to keep every game that they have ever bought at access like uh-huh. easy access every second of the day is this very small group of people. Like, okay. they'll keep their games, and if they want to get a bigger hard drive and yeah. place out the one that's in there, go for it. But why make everyone who doesn't do that pay a larger price for a base model? Yeah. Okay. Like. When I'm when I'm looking at the Switch, I'm trying to figure out how much it's going to be and stuff like that. And if they do put in like a a solid state drive, which is definitely more expensive than a disc based drive, like your regular um, HDD, uh, you know that'll jack up the price a little bit. I've been seeing people say the price of the Switch is going to be like two hundred fifty dollars, and I'm like, that seems so low. It'll be closer to four hundred. And I, yeah, that's what I think. I'm thinking, like, add 100 to that. Yeah. Like, if this thing is going to be somewhat capable, I've been, a lot of people have been saying they think it's going to be around the Xbox One. Okay. Maybe not quite as powerful, but in that ballpark. Well, the reason I lean towards it either is an SSD card inside of it or yeah. an SD card. Yeah. Because it has to move. And when you have a spinning disc yeah. inside of it, you run the risk of scratching the disc. Yeah. It breaking when you drop it. Or any little thing, and I mean that's the reason you look at any handheld device, and it's no, they don't use discs for anything. Yeah, I mean we are Nintendo, and a lot of analysts have been saying this might be the like reinvigoration of the cartridge-based like memory, yeah, like system because it, it loads faster. It doesn't, yeah, you know, it's not as delicate either. Scratching like, isn't a problem. Spinning discs are not thin. Yeah, they're decently thicker than a solid state drive and way bigger than an SD card. Right. So, I mean, in my opinion, the hard drive is going to be in the tablet, the portable part of the console. Yeah. Okay. Um, because you need to be able to take it with you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, totally. Like, for sure, that tablet is going to have some memory in there. It has to. It has to. There's like, no they're, way it. they're not going to make a system that has no memory that you can store things in. Like, no. obviously, its own OS has to be stored on it. Yes. Right? Like, when, when they have a hard drive in a game system, they always say they have 500 gigs. In reality, that's already being taken up by some of the OS. It's usually like 425. Right, basically. right. It's now, not a lot, but it's always... So it's not truly what they say it is. Now, what I think this console is... It might be off topic a little bit. What okay. I think it's going to be is the tablet, the, the Go piece... Right, right. It's so, going to be everything. Everything is in that. And when you plug it into the dock... Yeah. It's nothing more than taking an HDMI cable from your tower yes. and plugging it into a monitor. Yeah. And that that could be that could definitely be true. I it think just it's a charging station yeah. and a display changing station. That's it. Yeah. And that's we don't know for sure, but I feel like that is what it they've shown so far. Yeah. So that's all we've been led to believe. So that is definitely uh probably the most likely possibility right now. I still am kind of holding on to the possibility of that docking station having something in it to maybe up performance of games or upscaling technology maybe. to like upscale 720 up to 1080 if you're if you have a big tv yeah. like we can't tell from the trailer because no. they're screen replacing yeah, all the screen replacing all the footage so we can't tell and they also probably docked with the footage to make it look as good as possible well, yeah. as well Why so not? We can't look at that footage and make any, uh, like, assumptions. But I think, like, so SD cards have been another form that Nintendo used a lot for the 3DS and the DS. Yes. Or, you know what? The DS didn't have an SD card slot. Um, Uh, But the 3DS did. Yes. That's right. right. And we're looking at prices for the, you know, SD cards, and those are even more expensive because they're so small, but they can hold just as much memory as, like, regular hard drives. But, like, we're looking at prices that range from, like, $100 for, I guess, lower quality ones. Or that's a 256 gigabyte one. So a 256 gigabyte SD card runs around, like, $100. Right. And then a 512 gigabyte SD card is sitting around 200 to, like, 250 usually. I was hoping to see a number, but I don't see it. Um, the reason I was looking for numbers okay. is speed. Oh, yeah, transfer and Those stuff SD like that. Those SD cards yeah. look like they said, what, 95 megabytes a second. Yeah. I'm trying to see what the data rate is on a solid-state drive real quick. Okay. Um, but, I mean, that's a big issue. I mean, 
load time. So solid state drive. Yeah. The reason you put your operating system on a solid state drive is you can boot it in like half a second. Right. Whereas a spinning disc takes a while. Now I do not know. I cannot see a number here, but I'm assuming there it is. Incredible read write up to 540 megabytes per second. Oh, that's really fast. That's five. That's so times fast. Faster than a that's SD card. That's so fast. So think about it. you're playing games and you yeah. want low times. Like look at the new Zelda game, right? Right. It's such a big world. Every time you go outside or inside, it's probably gonna have to load somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And loading at that speed uh -huh. compared to 90 megabytes a second is gonna be a huge difference. Okay. So, so at the end of the day, what you would want is an SSD to be in the Nintendo Switch, and you're thinking around 250 gigs. 250 is should be plenty. Yeah, with, and, the, with yeah. the option of being able to swap it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure the thing's gonna have USB ports. Yeah. But you know, what's funny about that is like. I don't know many people that would take their switch on the go and then plug an external no, that's thing, my right? Point. Like, it needs to be internal and it needs to be at a like right, right, unscrewed right. and pulled out and replaced. Right, right, right. Or have a secondary slot somewhere yeah. for extra memory. You know, it's it's gonna be tough. Like, I'm thinking they're probably gonna have an SD guard slot. Yeah. Probably. Okay. So for your ex for extra memory, that might be an option. That might be an option, but it's yeah. it definitely I think like we were saying is like it definitely is going to have its own memory inside of it all ready to go, and I think yeah that's I think that's a good idea to have a solid state hard drive in there. Like the it two, would be it would be pretty awesome. Their prices are very close. Yeah, but and, their abilities are drastically. And two hundred fifty gigabytes is, uh, is around a hundred dollars. So. With that pricing, to me, there's no way that it's going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be 250 That's way too low. So I'm thinking, yeah, probably around 350 or 400 I'm going to... I would lean towards, like, the 350 mark because I think that's a better number to kind of, like, throw out there than mm -hmm. hitting that 400 because that's starting to get up there, kind of. I think that's a completely reasonable price, 350 I think 350 is pretty reasonable because if this thing wants to be somewhat powerful and mobile, potentially... And you know they're going to bundle yeah. it with at least one game. There could be bundling options as well. Yes, yeah, they do. Then it'll be definitely. Yep. A recent piece, uh, uh, re recent piece of information came out uh, from the president uh, Kimishima saying that there might be a decent amount of attachable hardware in the future for it that you could buy optionally. Like custom controllers for games. Uh, that maybe, and other things he didn't elaborate of course right i'm sure we're gonna find out more on january 12th they set the date also, for like the huge presentation for it i want different skin colors for <laughs> the yeah console yeah that, like ness theme just made me really happy yep yeah I, th I think we both agreed if they have color schemes or some sort of special like bundle if they have a breath of the wild bundle i'm buying it immediately and if they like seven hundred dollars, <laughs> well, that might be a bit four thousand dollars. Oh, geez, now we're just getting ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but you buy it. You, uh... you buy it. <laughs> that thing better have some awesome shit in it. If it's like four thousand, <laughs> it's got a gold controller attached. Oh yeah, twenty-four karat. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. Okay. Dented, dented scratched. <laughs> well, everybody, I think we kind of went over the storage options a decent amount there. So, if you're a digital gamer. Just be prepared to potentially shell out a little bit more money if you have to for like an external drive or uh, like a high, you know, capacity SD card or something. So with that all in mind, I hope we kind of like gave you a fair warning of what might be happening with the Switch. I'm pretty excited for the Switch. Are you excited, Nate? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So with that, everybody, thanks for watching and we'll see you at your next save. Bye.